You ready to fight? Ready. All right, so how good is this Conor McGregor, Max Holloway, Act 2? This is as good as it gets, champ. We'll see who has the upper hand tonight. Yeah, John, and you know what, man? I play with these two characters, and I know that when EA Sports was developing the game, they made Max 1A, and they made Conor McGregor 1 because they are the two best played characters in the game and the two most played characters in the game because everybody loves to make the game easy, and that's why you sit behind those controllers one of you have Max Holloway, one have Conor McGregor. You need to take a look at yourself, because that's unfair. I usually like to play with the Daniel Cormier character, but let us see how it goes here. McGregor, Holloway under the lights. We're underway. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many times. Now the hammer fist here by Max Blessed Holloway. Oh, trying to pass here, but Dikembe Mutombo style Block. he gets denied. Block! Great job blocking that pass by the bottom fighter. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Well, you see why Holloway is such a fan favorite. Beautiful land there with the left hand, and now we'll see what he can do with it. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Just over two minutes to go in round one. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. So just over 20 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Conor. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that land, DC. Nice liver shot, Lewis. Trading huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. One minute. Another takedown land. McGregor gets back up again. Fighters separate from the clinch. Oh, he gets tagged again. Nice combination. Oh, that's a nice strike. Final seconds around one. Starting to swell now. Second round, straight ahead. All right, a lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Man, that Conor McGregor left hand is just an absolute piston and runs it. It's like an atabomb. Like, he hits people and they fall down. And he understands the power that he possesses. So he's willing to throw it over and over again. I just keep thinking back to him and Eddie Alvarez, how every time he hit him, he just knocked him out of his shoe. Conor McGregor's left hand is as good of a single strike as there is in the UFC. Yeah, he needs to register. <laughs> Holloway's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Oh, nice. Push kick there to the body. Another good body to the Three minutes and change to go in round two. Holloway whips on the left there. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one. And now starting to find himself in the pocket. Shot blocked there by Max Blessed Holloway. And there's that jab. Well, 
Uh, we've got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV. But every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and, you know, when you got a person like this in front of you that is so good at what they do, when you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you got to try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something because the more he's standing, the more he's going to have to deal with this cut and now all the blood that's coming from the cut. Holloway's blocking well now. You see the fighter raise the guard to protect that obviously damaged nose. Oh, man, that eye looks so swollen now. You've got to wonder whether or not that might be a fractured orbital. Able to connect with a beautiful jab. Back to the feet. Oh, hurt again. Oh. Oh. Oh, nice knee, nice knee. Final seconds here of round two. There's the end of the round, and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, let us now get you some replays of all the damage done in that previous round, including the strike that opened up the cut. Yeah, some nasty strikes landed over the course of that round, and it opened up a nasty cut. He has got to find a way to change some things defensively, or that cut is just going to get worse and worse. And the worse it gets, the more he runs the risk of this fight getting stopped. You ready to fight? You ready? Third round underway. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. And this is big. That's big. And another big kick for Max Holloway. Oh, is there bad? Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get him out. Oh! That is it! Oh, my God! Yeah, that right there is a high-level knockout, ladies and gentlemen. Crowd absolutely loving it. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Landed flush. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming. So, a huge, huge win for that young fighter here tonight. Dustin has had the last laugh, at least of late. It's been a lot of bad blood between these two. It's been a lot of trash talk. These guys don't like each other. And Dustin Poirier winning the last couple fights just really grinds at Conor McGregor. It eats at him because of the way in which he disposed of him the first time. Conor still believes that if he can get his hands on Dustin Poirier, he is going to finish him. Let's see what happens when the octagon door closes and the official says, let's fight. Right hand, then a left. Another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing his shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Hook attempt now blocked, though, by Poirier. Oh, that's a big connection there for McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. So at long last, he finally lands his first kick down after 
several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Fighters back to their feet here. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Clean with the right hook. Oh, my goodness, what a kick. Under two minutes to go. Misses with the left hook. That shot blocked by Poirier. Get the hands going here early. Wow, another nice combination there. He's got the flow state going tonight. Oh, he's in rhythm, John. It's like the music's playing in his head, and he is just salsa dancing all up on his opponent's face. I mean, a jab, right hand, uppercut. Everything he throws lands, and it lands with vicious intent. Now some spacing as they exit the clinch. Well, he's always working after that jab. Nice jab there by McGregor. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Twenty seconds to go in round one. Another shot here. Saved by the bell. So now back to the stool. He has only 60 seconds to recover. We'll see if physically he can keep himself in this fight. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, round two. Oh, big right hand, yes. And yet another hook landed there by McGregor. Well, he hasn't thrown any strikes to the body so far in this fight, and he's making the job of his opponent easier. I think he's got to start mixing things. Oh! Man, the body was really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. All right, well, good news is he rocked him. Bad news is he wasn't able to finish the job, and now his opponent's back in the fight. I mean, you don't get those opportunities very often. You got to take full advantage of them when they're presented to you. Good body work with that hook by McGregor. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence, and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one, likely the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like you can walk through a wall. He doesn't need to walk through a wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenue to land those shots. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Poirier. Fighter trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Oh, he reverses the position now. Nice work on the ground by McGregor. All right, so he just decides to get up here and let the opponent up. Starting to do some really sick. Oh, he's still hurt. Look at that. He can't even stand. Just over two minutes to go in round two. Fourier's blocking well now. Made the adjustment, protecting what is an already damaged nose. Nice. Nicely done. Straight punch lands. point in time. That canvas didn't look like that a few fights ago. Blood is flowing from that cut with every passing strike. Every strike. And it burns. John, it burns so bad. When you get cut like that, every time a shot lands, it just burns. So this guy needs to try to find a way to not take and limit the damage he's taking to his cut. Easier said than done. Though. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Twenty seconds to go round two. Oh, really good with the kick to the body. Just before you hold the horn.
horn, so he gets saved by the bell. The question is, though, what type of condition will he be in when he gets up off that stool? 60 seconds here to recover. The onus is on his corner to keep his head in the fight. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. Oh, straight punch. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He didn't have that left hand. Big right hand there. Oh, man. Nice job by him defensively there. Well, Conor McGregor has found his range early as he sticks the left hand. Able to land him with the body there with the left kick. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right at the back of the Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh! He's hurt bad. That shot blocked by McGregor. Oh, and that punch elicited a reaction from the crowd. Oh! Inside the close guard now, making all these shots count. You gotta fight back. McGregor gets up, he is back on the feet. Looked like he was in a submissive state on the ground, but he worked hard there to get back to the feet. He heard him again. Back to his feet. At this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go finish the fight. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment, he's in the zone. So how about that as he pounds him out for the TKO, prioritized the finish tonight, absolutely gets it with style points. A huge, huge result here in this arena tonight. It's always fun to see an athlete tell you what they're gonna do, and then they do it. This guy told us he was going to get a finish, and that's exactly what he did. Him and his team are gonna have a fantastic time tonight celebrating. They should all be very proud. You ready to fight? You ready? Do it. Well, with about as much fanfare as you would expect, the biggest star this sport has ever seen, Conor McGregor, is back tonight. And now let's see how he performs. Certainly he has handled everything during fight week quite well. How does he handle fight night? We're going to get some answers here shortly, Joe. Nice job by Conor McGregor on the feet. You got to think his longtime chief corner, John Kavanaugh, likes what he is seeing out of his pupil early tonight. Yeah, right, then a left. Liver kick. And the takedown attempt. But he does not land it. again, target area of the body. Oh, straight punch, it's there again. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Well, fortunate that one didn't land to the head. The hook shot blocked by Alvarez. 
Both fighters throwing heat now. McGregor's now switching his stance. Takedown defense is there. Oh, he somehow ate that overhand. Wow! Beautiful combination there. If you are teaching an up-and-coming fighter about throwing volume strikes effectively, you can do worse than watching the film on this I mean, guy tonight. It's a master class, John. It's a master class in mixing up the target, mixing up the strikes, and ending your combinations with the kicks. Alvarez's eye is closing up now. Not good for him. Keeping busy now, connecting with those punches. Well, he works his entire striking game off of that jab. Doubles up on the jab now. Effective punch there by the underground king. It won't take many of those. Big left hand. Under 90 seconds to go in the round. Distance management, 101. Another punch lands. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his... Still hurt. Oh, big left hook there. And mixes in a takedown. Why not? All right, trying to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Final seconds here. Alvarez's nose is bleeding now, so we'll see how he handles that adversity, but nothing ideal about it here in the middle of this fight. All right, so the round is over, and you see some obvious bleeding now. Looks like the cut is on the nose. Yes, it is. Cutman will try to get in there and shut it, but of course, as soon as he absorbs a strike this next round, that thing could reopen. Certainly bears watching here moving forward. All right, well, one minute of end swell can only do so much. Ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. Oh, how clean is that jab by Alvarez? Just out of range with the straight left hand. All right, seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Right, he should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He oh, no! oh, he might be out. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that pin. immediately on the right side of his body. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Nice body shot there. Oh, back and forth we go. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here. In oh, he hurt. Now he's back up. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you get him out of there. Well, he's got to hurt. He's got to hurt. He's got to hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but his opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front of him. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Oh, man, this guy's got elbows for days, huh? He throws them up, he throws them across the body. He just has a variety of elbow attacks. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Alvarez. Under a minute now to go round two. Nicely done to the body. Well, he was knocked down by his opponent earlier in the round, and I'm not sure he's mentally back in this fight. Well, it's hard to build back from something like that. But as you watch, he's trying 
but we don't know what type of dialogue is going on within himself, within himself right now in regards to him believing or not having much confidence in his approach to this fight. Oh! There's the horn. Plenty of action to digest in that round. All right, so the fighter heads back to the stool, and man, that is a severe cut that he's dealing with. We'll see if they call in the ringside physician. All right, let us re-rack some replays of the damage done in that round, see if we can isolate the strike that caused the cut. Yeah, a nasty cut opens up when he lands there. It's a beautiful shot that gets to the target. He has not been responsible defensively, and he's really paying for it because now he's dealing with that nasty cut. You ready to fight? Ready. Third Go round underway. Alvarez is really bleeding heavily now. That cut is only getting worse by the man. like this was really amazing. The finishing instincts, his ability to close the show, it was next level. It was amazing, John. championship feel in this arena tonight, my man. And they don't even have to have a belt on the line right. because of the animosity, because of the way the first two fights went together. Diaz with the submission in the first fight, thought he won the second fight. Connor building back up and being in my decision. These are two of the best fighters in the world in just a phenomenal matchup every time they get that. Oh, nice combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jabs, right hand, body shot, I mean kicks. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. Oh, knee strike right to the bottom. job by Conor McGregor navigating distance here, and he's done a pretty good job overall, DC, navigating his celebrity. He can't go anywhere in his native Ireland without getting stopped by somebody, but he has really focused on his craft. The work ethic has never waned, and McGregor appears to be in great shape here tonight. Two minutes have gone by here in round one. A clean punch. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Pretty good jab there by Diaz. He's gotta throw that kick behind those punches. Well, he's not a one-legged fighter yet, but that calf starting to show some signs of bruising. If he takes many more, he's not gonna be able to move.
Nice job at least staying upright on that. Right late in the round here, DC, and Conor McGregor doing what he does best, really having his way on the field. Yeah, you know, it's always the striking. He's the type of guy that can really dictate and control a fight with his hands and all of his striking, with his striking abilities. And that's exactly what he's doing tonight, and because of it, he's winning. Oh, a huge block there. Lands the left punch now, followed by a right. Diaz's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps there on the bridge. Well, now if you're the opponent, you really gotta be careful as Diaz is able to find a home for that right hand yet again. When Diaz starts landing the right hand, you have got to stay firm. You have got to dig your heels in the ground and say, no way you're gonna just run me over. Easier said than done when you're facing Nathan Diaz. So unofficially, 64 total strikes have landed for Conor McGregor. Diaz is swelling now around that jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments and perhaps defensively raise that guard to prevent any further damage. Yes. Round two is next. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, if you're the replay guy, a lot to like in that previous round. A lot of damage being inflicted. Yeah, I mean, and look at the swelling now, John. He wasn't doing what he needed to do to move his head, and he's paying for it. You cannot allow for an elite-level mixed martial artist to connect at that rate and Ready think fight. that you will not be wearing Ready. the damage. He's wearing it now. I'm interested to see what changes he makes to give himself an opportunity. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Leg kick is there. All right, well, that blow is busting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that, boy, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He is just outclassing this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Diaz is blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Under three to go round two. Nice right punch followed by a left. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, rips the body shot there. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Back and forth we go. Two rounds in the books. All right, back to the stools we go. 
and that is a really severe cut, so we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. All right, the truck has produced some replays from that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the strike that opened up that cut on the bridge of his nose. It's nasty, and it's in a bad spot because the reality is when you can't breathe through your nose, you start to open your mouth, but the blood is dripping down into your mouth. How is he going to breathe in order to have a chance to win this fight? Ready to fight. Ready. Third round underway. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Diaz's cut is only getting worse, making a nice donation to the canvas tonight. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Uppercut attempt here. Nice job defensively there by Diaz. Just missed with the elbow there. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. What a punch. Diaz's nose is unrecognizable. It is mangled. It is cut open. I think it's probably broken at this point in time. Surgery next week. But now we'll see if mentally, physically, he can stay in this fight. Oh, he is hurting for certain. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Nice punch by Diaz. He's throwing these punches in combination. Really dictate the pace of his opponent. Under two minutes now to go. Well, the crowd continues to react with every passing land, but if you're the referee or even the corner, somebody's got to get involved out right there. Somebody's got to do something. It's getting very uncomfortable to watch this. And as it's... The question is for how long? Under a minute now to go. He's on battle. Well, DC kind of just playing with him at this point, right? You'd think he's got to go in and just get him. Oh. Back to his feet. I mean, there is no stopping that blood at this point in time, and ringside physician probably going to come in and take a look. We'll see. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now he's just targeting that cut on the nose. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round now, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Oh! Back to the feet. There's a left hand from Diaz. Diaz is an absolute mess. Referee might have caught an eye of the ringside position right there. They might stop this fight. Lands a beautiful leg kick. My favorite shot in the game, another leg kick. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, lands the overhand up top. He's hurt again. Oh, goes down again. Oh, and double will do it. Oh, my goodness. I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knock. 
knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight, I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. Bruce Buffer has...